Right. Um, what I wanted to speak about um, <clears throat> was the fact that not all witches follow the Wiccan read and not all witches are Wiccan, um, which I get very heated about um, if I think about it because I feel Wicca, I've, I've got a lot of respect for Wicca because it put me where I am today. Um, it introduced me to magic and it was a good start off. I did start traditional and then I sort of went morely towards Wicca and, you know, um, I had some amazing experiences whilst being on the path of Wicca. So I have respect for it. Um, however, it's just not suited for me, um, which is fine, you know. Um, but yeah, basically, I wanted to say today, um, not all witches follow the Wiccan read. Um, and you need to get over that. I saw a really good slogan. It was like, not all witches follow the Wiccan read, get over it, which kind of made me laugh. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, basically, um, it's completely true as well. You know, uh, especially in traditional craft, we don't follow a Wiccan read. And the Wiccan read is, um, do what that, do what you will as long as you don't hurt anyone, basically. Um, it's put in old English, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I am not a Wiccan. I do not follow the Wiccan read. Um, I, I don't agree with it as well. Um, I think no matter what somebody does within this lifetime, you will end up hurting somebody. You will. Um, whether it's intentionally or whether it's unintentionally, because we are all human. We all make mistakes. So the Wiccan read is, to me, it's just, it's just not gonna, you know, it's not gonna happen in somebody's life because we will end up hurting somebody. Um, now, it comes down to as well a lot in cursing. Um, I, I personally, I do. I, I curse people, but I'll explain it in a moment. Um, when it comes to that, um, I'll tell you the reasons why I do. Um, yeah, in traditional craft, the key thing, um, the one sort of guideline we do have is personal responsibility. So, for example, if you curse somebody, you have to be prepared to take full responsibility for the actions, um, for the after occurrences for what happens afterwards you have to take full responsibility it is key personal responsibility and that is such a good way that is not even just in cursing but just in life in general you know taking personal responsibility for your actions being responsible being mature being adult and it all boils down to knowing that you have the ability to change things around you but using personal responsibility um, so yeah, I, I do believe in that. I believe curses are not to be taken lightly. Um, I really don't think they should be taken lightly. I don't think they should be taken as a joke. I will tell you why I occasionally curse people. Now, I believe a lot when it comes to my spirituality, I believe in helping people. And I do. I believe in helping a lot of a lot of people, but I think sometimes some people are just too far gone to help. And I think sometimes it's all well and good helping people, but you need to realise when somebody is just being an absolute twat, basically. You know, um, it's okay to help others, but know that when somebody is beyond help, there's nothing you can do. I know um, a couple of people that are beyond help. Um, and I've tried to help people like that, but it just, it backfires. Um, the reason why I curse is I believe in justice, and I do. Um, now, I I think, I'll give you an example. I won't curse somebody because they stole something of mine. I won't do that. I will curse somebody if they are sexually abusing um, people, if they are hurting people maliciously and purposely and I will do that in order to teach them a lesson themselves because I think sometimes people do need to be taught a lesson. This is my own personal view, it's not set in stone, this is what I think. Um, I also think in regards to the Wiccan read, it castrates a witch magically. Um, <coughs> 
I have a very, I have a very um, sort of set in stone view about witchcraft, and I think being a witch comes with it responsibility, but I also think it comes with it fear. Um, I don't think you should make people fearful, but I think the reason why people have been fearful of witches through the ages is because there is reason why. Because witches have power. Witches have the ability to shape and, and mould things how we want it into reality. And that's, you know, that's going to scare people. And you can't, you know, being a witch, you should help people out. You should always try and help people out. But you should also remove any negative situations that are happening in other people's lives. So if they are being sexually abused, you can remove the abuser. You can put them in prison. You know, you can, or even darker, you know, um, it's up to you. Again, personal responsibility. So I don't, I don't believe in the Wiccan read. I never have done. Even when I was practicing Wicca, I, I didn't. Um, and I just think it castrates a witch magically. I really do think that. I don't think that we should go by that guideline because the reason a witch has been feared is because they had the ability to curse people. They had that ability within them. Um, you know, and some people threw off curses willy nilly. I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't, I think that's stupid. I don't believe, I do believe in karma. I don't believe in something coming back to you times three. Why, why three? You know, um, and I've heard other people saying, oh, it comes back to you times ten. What, what? That just defeats physics. That's stupid. Um, please don't take offense to this. This is just what I personally believe. Um, so yeah, I mean, and it harm none, do what they will, like, no, you know, you're going to end up hurting people in this life, and you're a witch, you have that ability, you know, and I've always gone by a good quote, a real witch can heal and harm, in order to become a witch, you have to know how to harm and heal you can't just, and likewise, if somebody is just cursing, you need to know how to heal. Um, I've always gone by that quote, and I do believe in that. Um, you know, as a witch, you need to broaden out your magical skills. If you find skills, take them um, and use them in your own personal craft. Um, so, yeah, I, I believe that witches shouldn't follow the Wiccan read, because it castrates them magically, it limits them to what they can do, um, you know, to be able to be a witch, to be honest, the first thing you should sort of know is how to manipulate people as well, because I'm sorry, but witches, back way back when, didn't, you know, weren't these amazing, I mean, some of them were, you know, um, but they weren't all fluffy bunny and light. No way. You know, the just have a look at Boss Castle Museum, for Christ's sake. It's, it's filled with hexing dolls. You know, witches used to hurt people, you know, and, and deal with that. They did. Um, they weren't some sort of hippies. You know, they, they, if they saw a problem, they removed it. They didn't fuck about, you know, they, they didn't follow a Wiccan read. And the Wiccan read is only 50 years old. You know, it is 50 years old. Witchcraft um, is way back longer than that. And all I say when it comes to the Wiccan read and when it comes to cursing and stuff like that, you take personal responsibility. If you're going to curse somebody, be prepared to be responsible for your actions afterwards and what other people they affect because you could curse somebody and this is very over dramatic you could curse somebody and they could die so be prepared to put up with that be prepared to be responsible for that um whether or not you think it's good or not you know it's it's you it's your path it's not me um 
me personally, if I do curse somebody, I will think about it for months and months and months and months. I will think about it for such a long time. And if I still feel the same way, then I will go ahead with my work. I don't enjoy doing it, but I do think sometimes certain people need to be taught a lesson. Um, you know, I do. Um, but I've never, it's never been people that have just, well, it has actually. Um, it's, I've cursed people for silly things and I've learned my lesson from it. Um, I think, Doing that is stupid. You can't just fire out curses at will. But I do think that in terms of, you know, if somebody is exploiting other people heavily and if somebody is damaging to other people and themselves, then that's your decision to make, isn't it? Over and out.